From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, I'm Caitlin Nuclo. It is Saturday, November 28th, and we're following some of your top stories for you today. We want to bring you up to date with the latest on the coronavirus in our state. Our positivity rate is at 4.81%. 35 more people have died and 49 more are in the hospital. That brings the total to more than 1,000 across our state. Health officials say they continue to see an increase in COVID cases associated with family and other social gatherings. It comes as there are concerns that the number of cases will continue to grow in the wake of the Thanksgiving holiday. The Ledgelite Health District in New London says they are seeing an increase in cases in nursing homes as well and say clusters are popping up in a number of workplaces. Happening today, it is Small Business Saturday, a day designed to encourage customers to shop at small businesses in their communities. In our state, business owners continue to recover from the pandemic, and they say buying local this holiday season is critical to their survival. They are struggling. We need to give everything we can to help them out through this holiday season. So, um, so come out, shop small, shop local. So, so to celebrate today, you can head out to your favorite local store. Also, you can check out their websites or do curbside pickup. You can also get that Connecticut Christmas tree today, that homegrown Connecticut Christmas tree. A lot of farms are open and they're looking for your support as well. All right, let's take you out the forecast for today. We do have a couple of scattered showers crossing the state right now, but they're going to be making their way out. They're basically negligible, more of a nuisance than anything else under mostly cloudy skies. Uh, in about two to three hours, we are expecting a partial clearing and we are expecting pretty good amounts of sun by later on today. Temperatures will top out in the low 50s, maybe some mid 50s for the shoreline. That's a little bit above average, not quite as warm as yesterday, but still a pretty good looking day. And as you can see from your seven day forecast, tomorrow is another great day, mostly sunny skies from beginning to end. Then Monday, we've issued an early warning weather alert as a storm system rolls in with wind and rain. It's going to be nasty Monday afternoon, Monday night and Tuesday morning, and then scattered showers will stick around for Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday look good. It'll be cooler Wednesday and Thursday, but Friday we start to moderate those temperatures. Have a great day, everyone. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.